Finally, I was able to get all three of the Chaotix crew, and let me tell you it wasn't easy. I had to go from store to store just to find these figures with their original price. But thanks to scalpers, finding a certain character wasn't easy, which resulted in me spending more than I originally planned, but at least I have the only figures I'll ever need. Now let's get into the figures themselves. First we have Espio, who comes with a star post checkpoint as an accessory. Espio was released back in June 2022 as part of Wave 9 of 4 inch figures. Other figures part of this line were Sonic with a spring, Tails with an invincibility capsule, and an egg robo with a blaster. On the back of the box it shows you how many points of articulation the figure has as well as a small bio of the character. For Espio's bio it reads, the speed member of Team Chaotix. He is a chameleon that can blend in. The bio they gave him is sort of lame. They don't even mention that he's a ninja. Also the speed member? Unless you're a Sonic fan or played Sonic Heroes you are not going to understand what that means. I would have used a shorter version of Espio's bio from Sonic Generations. Espio has 12 points of articulation. His head, shoulders, wrist, legs, knees, ankles, and tail all move. You would think Espio wouldn't be able to twist his wrist due to the ninja arm bracers being in the way. Thankfully his arm bracers are made of a tough flexible plastic that will bend when you adjust his wrist. Though I think it would have been better to put his wrist articulation on the back of his glove similar to the Sonic figure. Espio's tail is also made of a flexible plastic, however it lacks articulation and only allowing you to slightly adjust its position. For his accessory, Espio comes with a star post checkpoint. The design is based off of Sonic Lost World, and it has only one point of articulation that can be found on the top of the base. I would have preferred a different accessory for Espio, like one of his kunai. But I guess the checkpoint makes sense for Espio due to the fact that he was in Sonic Rivals. Second we have Vector the Crocodile, who comes with a super ring. He was released back in September of 2002, as part of Wave 10 of the 4 inch figure line. Other figures also part of that line were Ray the Flying Squirrel with a Red Chaos Emerald, a classic Sonic variant with a yellow spring, and Amy Rose with her Pico Pico Hammer. For Vector's bio it reads, Vector will take on any job that pays, but he'll also help Sonic save the world from Dr. Eggman out of the goodness of his own heart. Now this is a better bio. Imagine if they just stated Vector is the power member of Team Chaotix. It comes off as like broken English. Unlike Espio and the other 4 inch figures, Vector is bigger standing 5 inches taller and having 13 points of articulation, instead of 11 points which is the average for these figures. This articulation applies to his head, mouth, shoulders, elbows, wrist, legs, ankles, and tail. Vector's headphones and gold chain are made of a flexible plastic, and his gold chain is connected to the sides of his head. Vector is also one of two figures from this line with a mouth articulation, the other being the 2 inch chopper figure. For his accessory, Vector comes with a super ring. The design comes from Sonic Unleashed. I would have preferred the walkie talkie from Sonic Heroes similar to Jazzware's version of Vector, but due to Vector liking money I guess giving him a super ring is a decent substitute. Each figure and some accessories also have small holes on the bottom of them, which are used for stands, accessories like Sonic Snowboard, and for play sets to display them. Finally we have Charmy B, released in January 2023 as part of Wave 11 of the 2 inch line of figures. Other figures part of this line are Burrowbot, Chopper, a Sonic Thumbs Up variant, and Tails. Charmy's bio reads, Armed with his signature jacket and sharp stinger, Charmy is an essential backbone of the Chaotix Detective Agency. I didn't know Charmy's jacket was a signature staple to his character. I thought the main thing about Charmy is that he's the only playable insect character in the entire Sonic franchise. Charmy has 7 points of articulation, his head, arms, legs, and wings. Charmy's antennas are made of a strong plastic, though I do worry that over time his antennas might break off easily due to being bent. I hope for future releases they consider making his antenna have the same flexible plastic similar to Espio's tail and Vector's chain. If not, then they need to make the antenna stronger or thicker, similar to the Lego bar pieces that you would see in some of the Lego sets, so that way they won't break off easily. 
On the left are the models from Team Chaotix from Sonic Forces. And on the right are the same models but with the same proportions as the Jax figures. Charmy's size was not changed from his original model reference while Espio was given a few extra inches to his height. I had to purchase this little bee from eBay thanks to scalpers buying them all up and reselling them for outrageous prices. I was lucky enough for finding two cheap Charmies for around $20 each, but others are being sold for $100. And a complete set of the Chaotix is being sold for $90. There are small mistakes I noticed in some of the figures, from small paint and plastic blemishes, to the right side of Espio's horn not fully being painted, chip paint on Vector's tail, and Charmy's left shoe being painted over. These minor errors don't fully affect the figures, unless you're a stickler for paint perfection, but I do hope they fix these in the future releases of these figures. I also hope that Jax considers selling the Chaotix as a box set, similar to how Jazzware in the past did for their 3 inch line. Jax has sold a multi-figure pack before for Sonic's 30th anniversary of Classic Sonic, Dr. Robotnik, and Mecha Sonic, and two character multi-packs of Sonic and Metal Sonic, and Amy and Tails. They could even include exclusive items that best represent the characters instead of the accessories that don't really relate to the characters they come with. I'm just so happy I was able to collect my favorite characters from my favorite franchise. I just hope in the future Jack sells these figures and future ones on their website or in multi-character packs so I and many others won't have to spend around $70 for figures that were originally priced around $5 to $10 due to stores not having them in stock and scalpers buying them all up. You can buy these figures mainly from Walmart and Target, though I recommend shopping in store due to their websites not listing what figures they have in stock or you can buy them online from eBay and Amazon. Uh, uh, I, I don't really know how to end this video, so... Rattle me bones!